Welcome to Whole and Unleashed, a podcast about coming home to ourselves, featuring conversations with special guests on topics related, but not limited to burnout, mindset, fulfillment, transitions, wellness, and so much more. I am your host, Jessica Locke, Astrala Yoga Guide and Holistic Wellness Coach. And this podcast is not about telling you what to do. I believe we all have the answers we need within. This podcast is here to inspire you, help you find clarity, and maybe give you an extra nudge towards living wholeheartedly. And of course, we'll be sharing tools and strategies from our guests to embrace your inner wisdom and live unleashed. Ready to dive in? Hello, friends. I can't believe it's almost been, geez, eight months since this podcast went live. We have over 3,000 listens combined with YouTube, and yes, there are videos of our conversations. Just because I always get curious and want to see people's faces when they're talking, and if you're like me, feel free to check it out as well. You can find those videos on the blog. And thank you so much for listening and sharing your thoughts with me. I've been getting some wonderful private messages, and I don't take any one of them for granted. If you have any thoughts or curious about any topic, feel free to message me via hi at holeandunleashed.com or on Instagram. I'm so excited and nervous to be sharing this episode today. I've been feeling the pull to share and reflect for a few months now, and there will be some changes coming soon. I'll be spicing up the format. In addition to guest interviews, there will also be expansion sessions, which are episodes where you get to be a fly on the wall as I coach and guide someone through any specific block or resistance they may have. And as a side note, if you're interested in being a part of this, you can apply on holeinalish.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page. It's a 90-minute session, completely free. And the reason that I'm sharing these is because it can be so useful and such a wonderful way to see ourselves reflected through others. We deal through a lot of similar blocks and understanding how someone is navigating through that is so helpful. So I've already have a few recorded. I'm excited to share them soon. And there will also be some shorter solo episodes similar to the one today. So today, I wanted to share what this podcast journey has been for me. And I really never realized how much I needed this, this outlet, this podcast. In a way, the act of doing this podcast has helped me reclaim my voice and do a lot of healing around it. So I thought maybe it would be appropriate to share this audio video that I recorded of myself after the first interview that I did. And to be frank, I didn't expect to share this because, well, it's vulnerable, it's a bit messy, I rambled, and I might have cried, but I think it's important to also show the messy parts so you too can see my process. It's not rainbows and butterflies all the time. All this has been incredibly healing and healing looks so different for everyone as well. It took time to get to where I'm at. A lot of inner work. And even though there are so many things up in the air, in my life right now, this is the most grounded I've ever felt in my life. There is no money in the world that would have made that possible. So this footage is a mere snippet of my process. It's kind of the culmination of a chapter and the start of a new one. And, you know, before I share it, it's a reminder that everybody's process looks very different. And again, this is the end of a chapter a breakthrough moment. So here goes nothing. So I just finished recording my first official podcast episode. I thought I'll 
share some emotions and feelings, just record this for my own personal records, or you know, if this ever sees the light of the day, it might be interesting or something useful to see and process. For the first time ever, I'm allowing myself to simmer in this feel good bubble emotions, just excited, a lot of gratitude for being able to make this happen. The people who supported me along the way. And I didn't realize how healing this process would be. I've been wanting to do a podcast for a while, but I've never let the idea take traction because I kept thinking, I don't want to make another podcast. There are so many out there. And, you know, I already listened to so many. They're super helpful and useful. What am I going to do that's going to be different? Why does my voice matter? What do I have to offer? In a way, I think I was struggling to see the value of myself. And the facts are people are going to listen to what they want to. We don't just watch one TV show. We just don't listen to one artist. We want connection. We want to make things happen. And believing in myself was the first part of this journey. There was so much work that went into it. Getting to this place of understanding my, my self-worth my value, embracing my gifts, which has always been the hardest. And, you know, this podcast, Whole and Unleash, is about coming home to ourselves. And I feel like that by doing this podcast, I've allowed myself to come home to myself, which sounds, you know, kind of meta. But in a way, I realize I've been hiding for the longest time thinking that my gifts aren't worth cultivating or that it wouldn't make much of a difference. So now that I've, of all the inner work I've been doing for months and years, and in a way, that inner work never truly ends. That's the beauty of the process. You're always learning. There's always another lesson for, for us to grow. But, you know, being able to see myself as I am, be completely okay with it, and share with the world what I'm meant to do here. I feel like I've been sitting on this desire for the longest time and in the past couple of months what particularly changed was choosing myself investing in myself when i first quit my corporate job three years ago from you know, from a career that I thought I wanted, climbing the corporate ladder, and realizing that I felt kind of empty there, not very aligned. I'm grateful to be able to kind of plan out and take care of myself before I quit so that I had the space to explore the new ventures and passions that I'm interested in, being able to take my yoga trainings, um, taking business school, peace school online, and then later on, 
being able to try these things out out of curiosity and play and it's led me to so many wonder opportunities and people yet something was still missing that wasn't addressed or healed until recently which brings it back to investing in my mastermind taking care of myself um yeah, I think it's the first time ever that I thought about, you know, I am worth it. I need the additional help. I need to figure out what I'm trying to do and I need the support to do it. Oh, another big, big lesson, you know, sometimes if you're like me, you might think that you can figure it out on your own. And it's always great to start there, you know, start from where you're comfortable. But I realized this year with everything that's happened, I was missing a community. I'm missing a network of people that I can be friends with and talk about, you know, my struggles when it comes to starting a business. I don't really consider myself an entrepreneur. It just happens that this is how I can use my services. This is it just happens that this is how my, where my passions are taking me to, you know, my skills are to talk to people, to help them find clarity or just being able to connect at that level and making them feel good, you know, helping them find themselves, tune into their center that is my strength and I wasn't really operating at that level yet stepping into the persona that I wanted to be because I had so many baggages or you know things to work through so you know for the first time ever I feel like I am truly myself doing what I love doing what makes me happy there's still so many uncertainties and so many things I want to grow in but they seem like opportunities now as opposed to challenges and challenges are fun but when you feel like you're being challenged in everything you want to accomplish it can be scary but they feel like opportunities things I get to do and people I get to connect with and you know, being comfortable with taking up space. I think that was a big thing that I had to work through, you know, aside from imposter syndrome, but also being proud and being present. And I didn't know how to work through it. It's been, you know, this mastermind, an amazing group of people who are there to, to be of service. They also want to make a living. Of course, we should be able to afford groceries while we follow our passions as well, while we help and be of service. And you know, I'm so moved by the conversation I just had with the podcast guests and being able to do it. And I feel like I'm truly in my element. I'm just so overwhelmed with gratitude and I feel like I'm finally healing. I didn't think it would be this healing for me. Thinking about my inner child, my higher self, and being able to, to be me again. I think that's the most rewarding part of this process. all you know adults with an inner child <laughs> we're basically inner child in adult bodies trying to figure life out and I have a picture of myself here it was an act an exercise we did for the retreat and it's something that I put close to where I work when I look at her I think about everything I've been through or how I completely shut myself down in a way or you know I was told I was too loud my dresses were too fluffy or made fun of for liking the things that I liked and I never realized 
what a huge impact it did to shape my personality. And now, you know, I'm allowing myself to use my voice. I'm not too loud. I'm not too, I'm not too much. I'm exactly who I'm meant to be. I am enough. I'm not too sensitive. I'm not too bratty, too silly, too goofy. Just wanted to remember this moment as I, you know, life always throws you curveballs, but I really wanted to simmer in gratitude. I feel the support I have with my friends, family, my community, and it feels good to be home. And I want to be able to help others get there, heal the same way. You know, we all deserve to come home to ourselves sooner than later. It's not, you know, it's not easy. It's a messy process, but it's a very necessary one because we all deserve to thrive. It's not a, you know, sometimes it feels like a privilege, but it's all right. I'll do my best that I can to serve, to guide. Yeah, just feeling so much love, gratitude, peace. wanted to share just to read out this message from from my heart it was part of a meditation exercise we did in the Bold Abanda Mastermind Retreat in Nikia. question was, what knowledge have you gained by listening to your heart? What my heart was telling me, my inner child, you're not too much, too loud, too hyper, too playful, too chatty. You're exactly where you're meant to be, who you're meant to be. You're love, you're our love. It's safe. It's time to come home, step into the light. I got you. Step into your light so others can step into theirs. So that was recorded on October 29th, 2020. And today, I'm as I'm writing this episode out, June 29th, What are the chances? I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate this little milestone. And something that stood up to me in this recording is how I was starting to own and understand my self-worth, stepping into that energy. I believed in myself, but I hadn't fully owned the essence because I let my fears hold me back. I believed in the stories that I wasn't enough, that my voice wasn't worth sharing, my perspective, my dreams, my desires weren't worth it because I wasn't enough. I was conditioned to not take up space, so I stayed comfortable in playing small. Even though I had this burning passion and light within me, I dimmed it because I didn't know how to contain it. And you know why? Because our light is not meant to be contained. 
We are meant to be radiating. And that can only happen when we've made peace and start embracing who we are. Start cultivating that trust in ourselves. It's not by taking more courses, degrees, getting that position, making X amount of money, hitting that goal. We think that's what's going to help us feel whole. And it might temporarily feel good. But we've been looking at this the wrong way. Wholeness comes from within. When you realize that what you do, how much money you make, what you want to accomplish is an extension of you and not you. Because nothing can define who you are. Because you, my friend, you are not here to be contained. Your skills and your gifts are meant to be modeled and embodied by you. When I decided that I was worth investing in and I did a mastermind, everything that followed was an extension of me. Not to fix me, not to make me feel whole, but to help me grow. The intention is what made all the difference. And that happens through a lot of inner work, really taking out the layers and understanding the fears that were present. Instead of trying to sweep them under the rug, it was actually inviting them to, you know, show up in the room with me and tell me why I was so terrified. Even though I believed in myself, why was I terrified? And I think sometimes it's so important to know that your fears, when it comes from you, your fears are here to protect you. They're here for survival because that's essentially, essentially, that's, I can't say the word. That's essentially what they're here for. And when you let them take the driver's seat, they might not allow you to do anything because they just want to keep you protected and contained. But sometimes the fears and resistance can give you an insight into What's hiding beneath? And I didn't know that my worth was something that I needed healing around. I didn't know that I didn't think I was worthy of investing in something or that I was worthy of help even. Maybe I can make an entire episode on that by itself. Asking for help was such a big wound that I carried along with me. And that wound was being covered by the badge of honor that I'm an independent person, that I'm an introvert, I enjoy doing things by myself. And you probably hear me repeat the story a couple of times. That was a, one of the biggest stories I had to give up. When I knew that I was worthy, worthy of the help and started being open for it, Oof. I started seeing opportunities around. I started seeing how supported I actually was and that I didn't need to stay in the place of uncertainty. Of course, sometimes we need to be in that place before we get our breakthroughs. But it's so easy to get stuck there. In a way to move past those fears is to By taking action, taking tiny steps. Me, okay, I believe in my worth. What did I do? I invested in it because I had the opportunity and the savings to do so. Maybe for you, it looks completely different. Maybe you cultivating or doing the healing is actually taking time off, not doing anything so that you can come back to yourself. There are so many ways and things that we can do to come back to ourselves. So when I shifted that perspective that I wasn't enough and started coming home to myself and owning the light as much as I owned the darkness, I was able to release all that was in mind to hold, beliefs that weren't serving me, fears that weren't true. And I was able to also see what were mine to hold and what weren't because some stories came from within me and others came from the people around me. It could be their fears or their own limiting beliefs, so they project it. And I absorbed them thinking that 
was a truth. I feel like a completely different person, yet from the outside, nothing changed. Nothing. Just my approach to life. And it didn't happen from one night to the other. It happened by taking gradual steps. Tiny steps. And steps that are very intentional. That didn't necessarily mean accomplishing anything. But was more like, can I take the time off? Can I slow down? Because a big part of my story was burnout pushing, trying to make something happen. And I was afraid that if I stopped, everything would crumble. That was another belief, another limiting belief that I was holding on to. And just listening to that and understanding how we got there and how that belief is limiting us, not serving us, and slowly releasing it takes time. That's why if you are going through something, you're feeling a little bit stuck in If you feel pulled to, I truly invite you to apply for an expansion session. I would love to dig in a little bit more and just kindly show a different perspective. Because sometimes when we're in it, all we can see is how hard it is. Trust me, I've been there. So to whoever's listening right now, I hope this inspires you to pursue what you're passionate about to take the time and space to heal, to nourish yourself, to follow that inner inkling, even though you might not know what the next steps are, to trust, because it's not too late. And we've all heard the saying, you're exactly where you're meant to be. And it's true, all the lessons, all those challenges led you somewhere. Do you want to stay where you are? If you need a little bit more time, that's fine. If you're ready to start stepping up, if you're ready to step into your own light, can you release the expectations to make something happen and allow yourself to be? What does being mean for you? Can you trust the process? your process, trust your energy, who you are, what you need. Can you embrace the highs and lows, the messy parts and the beautiful parts? Can you seek support? Come step into your light so others can step into theirs. Are you ready to come home to yourself? Thank you for being here today. I truly appreciate you. Are you ready to create space for ease and alignment? I've created a free starter guide to help you go from frazzle to focus. It's a guide for the overwhelmed go-getter who's eager to find more ease, clarity, and alignment in our lives so you can quiet the noise and strengthen your connection within. After all, we can't align what we don't know is misaligned. Simply grab your free copy at wholeandunleashed.com slash guide. Thank you so much for listening to the Whole and Unleashed podcast. What was your takeaway from today's conversation? Let me know in the comments or review. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe to get new episodes each week and visit wholeandunleashed.com for more information.